Hello everyone, it's me Ellie again from X Express Themes. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to continue the video I was making regarding the short code element that you can enter in the page with the help of those short codes. So I had explained you regarding some of the short codes that is team, testimonial, toggle, and the other short codes I'm going to explain you in this video. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard, create a new page. Here, enter the short code. We had done testimonial, theme, social icon, and toggle. Now let's enter a call to action section on your page. Just click on it. I write a call to action text. Any text you can write and write the text for a button that is a read more and put a button URL the link you want your uh, website viewer to go when you click those call to action button so let's select this link you can put any link you want to and you can select the button alignment that is center or right well, I'm going to select right and click on OK. Now publish your page. Uh, let's assign it in the menu header. So go to appearance and then menu. Check it and add to menu. And save. Now let's go to the front end of the website and let's click on this page we just created that is short codes. Here you can see this is the call to action section that you just entered on the page which when click will take you to the respective link address you just posted. Now let's again go back to the page we created to make the other changes with the help of the short codes. That is now the next element that you can put is a slider. You can put a slider in your each page with the help of this short code. Click on slider, select the number of images you want on those slider. I'm going to select two. Then here is the option for you either to show a caption that is a title on, on those sliders or not. If I select yes, you can enter a caption title there. And you want the link image to URL. You want uh, those images uh, linked to any URL or not. Well, let me select yes for this too and the open link option that is which the when the slider images are clicked you want uh, a new tab to open or you want those images to open in the same tab so let's select in different tab and click on OK now this is the area where you can uh, put your caption captioned text and this is the area where you can put the link you can choose the link you want well I'm gonna choose this default link which is to show you obviously and then here you can put the link of the image let's go to the media library Let's select a slider image from here. Copy its URL. And then paste it over here. Now you have pasted it. 
Now about the second image, you can again do the same. Put a caption, then put a link. Then put an image URL, go back to the media library again. Select an image you want on your slider, copy the URL and um, paste it here. Then update the page. Now let's go to the front end. You can see this is the slider portion where your images are showing on a slider. So this is how you can put slider on your each page. So the next short code that you can insert is the tab. You can add a number of tabs. Okay, I'm going to add three tab and you can show it horizontally or vertical but I'm gonna show it vertical and click on OK now you can add the title here and the content you want on those tabs just add your title here and add your content here and then update your page and then go back to the front end to see if it arises or not so as you can see this is the tab section so similarly the other short code element is the list style like basically if you want to put a list of uh, some items on your page like let's add a text here features of your website or anything then you can add the, this short code and number of list items and then you can select a list icon that is thunder icon pin tick star money bag or square let me select star icon and click on ok now this is where you have to add your uh, list uh, listing name the features basically and then click on update now let's again go to the front end and preview the change so this is how your list showing the slider images are a little bit disturbing the preview but as you can see here this is the list so these are the short codes that you can enter with Access Press Pro to bring changes in your layout and, change, and enter some elements on the pages. Thank you very much for watching this video.